Welcome to the first modular tutorial in the Rhino environment. With this video we will introduce you how to install modular for Rhino, features of the initial release, data export and some many functions. Modular is parametric urban design software that has been around for a quite a while in SketchUp ecosystem. This is the first release of modular in the Rhino environment. There are a couple of ways to install modular. First and recommended way is to install Modular from our website. This way you can make sure you have the newest version of the software installed. Apart from this, you can also download it from Food for Rhino and Package Manager in the Rhino 7. After installing Modular, there are two ways to initialize Modular. First one is the most usual way for Rhino user use command modeler. Second way is to use the blue icon of modeler in the toolbar. After initializing modeler, you need to loot your license by button. Modeler is a panel type plugin in the Rhino, which is a more integrated way to use external functionalities that come from different plugins. You can combine this panel with others or you can create a new panel column to fit your needs. For those of you that already know Modeler for SketchUp, rest of this tutorial will seem very really familiar, but there are some minor differences so please keep on watching. Let's start using the Modeler with the base feature, creating buildings. If you select a closed curve, and press button under the building page, which is create button, the building automatically will be created with the shape of it. Otherwise, building will be created at the origin of the model with predefined default shape. There are two different ways to create default building. You can also use yellow icon under the toolbar to create default building. After creating a building, you can easily manipulate the default values of the building by checking the checkboxes which correspond to related parameters of the building. Let's change some of them. For building heights, we can change building height with a given height value. Or we can change the number of stories instead of step in height directly. If you look at the building areas, they are responsible to fit square meters to expected values. You can consider to change either built up area or gross floor area. Last part of geometric changes is story heights. These changes will be affected on the height of building directly. As you can see, changing these parameters instantly modifies Rhino geometry to match them. Besides user interface changes, you can also relocate your buildings. And then use scale commands of the Rhino to manipulate the geometry of the buildings. Alongside creating and manipulating buildings, you can also copy them with the copy button. Or Ctrl C and Ctrl V or with the copy command of the Rhino. And then pressing Alt and drag and drop. In addition to them, buildings are special group objects in the Rhino. They have differences from regular Rhino objects. They work with data. So, modular building page only identifies the modular building objects in order to distinguish them from other Rhino objects. We can also distinguish buildings that have default values from others and then we can change their parameters at the same time with all plot changes. I will create a couple of buildings to manipulate all of them. And then Let's change the default value of the number of stories for the whole plot. Why are some buildings affected, why others not? There is hierarchy between modular objects. The hierarchy starts with whole plot. 
So, whole plot changes affect other sub-hierarchy objects, like city blocks and buildings. That's why when we change parameters here, some buildings that have default parameters update themselves. Alongside geometric manipulations, which is default building parameters, you can also change plot parameters. The first one is plot area, which is responsible for calculation floor area ratio and site coverage. By these values, you can track the status of your whole model here. Second option of plot parameters is default land use. It affects the creation of the building with different land use parameters. And thanks to hierarchy, we can also change default land use of buildings. The bottom line of the whole plot parameters is that providing convenience for users to change geometric and parametric values of the whole model. Speaking of which parameters, we can jump to the land use page. Land use is parallel to building programs to keep things simple for users. With this page, you can manipulate the calculations of the selected land use parameters in terms of net floor area, units calculations, parking space values, green areas, and investment calculations. You can easily understand from here, when I change these parameters, and values in the heads-up displays also update on the fly, because selected building was residential. Here we come. You intuitively understand how to track our heads-up display, but I want to touch details of it. Every creation or manipulation of the model objects, you can track your urban control values for each object and aggregated values in one place. As we saw before, these values are calculated on the fly. Every reaction in the Rhino talks with the heads-up display. These can also be customized on the survey page according to the different needs. There are different options for design of the urban control values. For buildings, there is four different options. First one is empty. It means that it removes the building part from heads-up display. The second one is basic. Basic only shows simplified values of the building. Full is the default option as you were seeing from the beginning of this tutorial. And last one, sum of selected, which is special for buildings. It aggregates values of selected buildings. In the city block and plot area menu, they have three options which are empty, basic and full. Another important feature is that gross floor area submissions for buildings, city blocks, and the whole plot. You can easily track your gross floor area results for different land uses. Apart from customization of heads-up display, for any reason if you want to disable urban control values completely, you can use the options menu to close it. The last feature I will show you that is data export. You can export data of your model objects by using the menu item under the file menu. Although some of the options are not provided by initial release, you can export buildings and whole plot. After exporting your CSV file, you will have some special characters like cubic meter, square meter. We will open them with UTF-8. This is your format data for whole plot and buildings. Outside of what I am telling, for any wondering and question, you can consult our help menu. You can jump over here to user guide. And also you can find some video tutorials. You can also jump our forum. And of course, our website. 
Finally, in order to report anything, you can use submit a ticket button. Please feel free and send us a mail from the help menu. In order to see what is upcoming for next releases, you can continue with linked video. If you want to keep up with our videos, please follow the channel and subscribe to our newsletter.